Hello, and welcome to the Linux command line video series. In this video, we will cover using the hdparm command to interface with IDE, SCSI, and SATA hard drives and SSDs. The tool hdparm allows the user to get and set SATA and IDE hardware parameters. Most of the options to hdparm have to do with setting parameters that will affect the performance of the drive. For example, you can turn on or turn off the ability for the drive to use DMA, Dynamic Memory Access, which provides faster throughput with low CPU usage. From a forensic standpoint, there are three major things that HDPARM is very useful for. First, identification information. Second, HPA settings. And third, security options. You can use HDPARM to query the drive to get hard drive parameters such as drive geometry, model, serial number, firmware version, ATA version supported, etc. So let's first take a look at what devices we have. My LS block. So my SSD that we're looking at is going to be SDC. So we're going to do HD HD harm dash capital I of stash dev SDC, and we're going to pipe it through less because there's going to be a lot of output. The dash capital I option requested the information directly from the drive as opposed to grabbing it from the kernel drivers. All right, so here's the output. So things to notice is make the model, the serial number, firmware version. If you have a malfunctioning hard drive that you want to swap controller boards, this may be a critical thing that you use the same firmware versions on both boards. Other things are the transport protocols that it supports. And then next section is configuration, where you have the CHS information, the cylinders, the heads, and the sectors. Gives you the LBA. So this is basically the size of the drive. In this case, it's 62 million sectors, which translates to 32 gigs, since we're using 512 bytes as a logical size. Then it'll tell you the form factor. It's a two and a half inch drive versus a three and a half inch drive. And then if you had a spindle drive, it would also tell you the rotation rate. In this case, mine is an SSD. So it just tells you it's an SSD. Continuing on gives you the command feature set. So this one, this particular drive, it supports the smart feature set supports the uh, host protected area feature set, supports the device configuration overlay feature set, and so forth. And lastly, the security section here, it tells us whether it supports security protocols, in which case it does, and allows us to set passwords. So hdparm dash capital i gives us a lot of good information the tool hdparm can also be used to view and modify the host protected area also known as hpa this feature is often used to shrink larger drives to match the size of a smaller drive for the purpose of cloning for a digital video recorder system another common use of modifying the hpa would be if you have a three terabyte drive that you want to use an old system whose bio can only handle up to two terabytes. You can shrink the HPA so that the system will now see a two terabyte drive instead of a three terabyte drive. So to use hdparm to view the HPA, let's go ahead and do sudo hdparm dash capital N. So this is what it looks like on this particular SSD. And unfortunately, because the way I have it hooked up, it's giving some errors. So we're going to do this again with the internal drive. And this is what it should look like. It should tell you that the drive is now using this number of sectors out of this number of sectors, which is the entire amount. And therefore, HPA is disabled. All right, so for this next step, if you don't do this correctly, this can render your SSD into a brick. 
So your destiny is in your own hands. To use HD Parm to modify the HPA, let's say we're going to create a 10 gig drive. So what we're going to do is we're going to do sudo HD Parm dash N. And we're going to use this number of sectors. And we're going to put that onto SDC. Right, so that's this one over here. So this is the full number of sectors, which is about 32 gigs. And now we're going to tell the drive that it sh should only have this number of sectors, which is approximately 10 gigs. So once we hit return, we get this message that tells us the use of dash capital N is very dangerous, right? Like, and uh, we've already talked about this before. And this could basically destroy all the drive's contents and whatnot. And so what you need to do is add this particular flag if you really want to do this. And let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go up arrow, and then we're going to go and copy and paste and do it again. So now you see the output. This says that now it's only using this many sectors out of this many sectors. So at this point, what we need to do is we need to either reboot our system or unplug that drive and plug it back into the system. Otherwise, the system won't recognize the new size. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug the drive. And then I'm going to plug it back in. So let's go ahead and verify by doing LS block, make sure it's still assigned to SDC, which it is. So now let's do a disk type of slash dev SDC. And now you can see that the size is in fact 10 gigs. You can ignore the partition table here because the partition table was created when it was a 32 gig drive. Uh, so once we shrunk the, the device, we really should repartition and format that device. All right, so let's say we're done with what we need to do. So to change it back, let's go ahead and take a look at the device again. So what we need to do is use the full size that's available there. All right, so now it tells us that it is back using the full size. And once again, we have to unplug the drive, give it a few seconds and then plug it back in. And then we're going to do an LS block to make sure it is the same SDC, which it is. Now we're going to do the S, uh, disk type. And now it's back to the full 32 gigs. All right, the third forensic application with HD Parm is the ATA security options which allows one to perform security procedures on a drive, such as locking it from access and security erase. So let's go ahead and run HD Parm to take a look at the current security settings. If you look at down here, in this section, we can see that security settings are supported. The password is not enabled. The drive is not locked. The drive is not frozen. The number of times you've tried the password has not exceeded the maximum of five. And it does support enhance erase. So let's go ahead and set the password for the device. And for passwords, you can set the master level or user level. So let's go ahead and set the user. Right, so here we're telling it that we want to use the user level password. The master level is basically reserved for the manufacturers. And we want to go ahead and set the password. And the password is going to be Blue Monkey Forensics. And we're going to put it to our SSD. So it comes back and says it's issued that command. So everything is good. So how do we verify that? We can do the HD Parm again. And this time, what we see here is that that word not has been removed so that now it's enabled. So now we have a password set. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at how to wipe an SSD. 
The hdparm command can also be used to quickly and securely erase an SSD. To wipe, a typical one terabyte hard drive by writing all zeros to every byte usually takes about three hours to do. Using hdparm, this can be implemented in less than two minutes for an SSD. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. All right, so we're gonna once again use the hdparm command. We're gonna supply the user password, use a level password. We're gonna issue the security erase command. And then we're gonna supply our password and we're gonna apply it to SDC. And once we've done that, it says that it takes two minutes, but usually I find this is going to take less than a minute or so, so a few seconds. All right, there it's done. So to verify, let's go ahead and do sudo hdparm again on SDC. And one thing you notice is that the password has been uh, disabled. Once you do a security erase, it uh, erases everything, including the password. The other thing we can do is we can do this type again right now it says it's blank disk medium and lastly we can also do the xxd to look at the binary data and you can see that it is in fact completely wiped all right so that brings us to the end of this video where we learned about the hdparm command we used the dash capital I option to get information from our target disk. We used the dash capital N option to resize the host protected area on our target disk. And we used the security options to lock the drive and to perform a security erase on the drive. Hope you enjoyed it. And if so, click on the thumbs up icon to like this video. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when the next video comes out. Also, please leave me messages in the comment section below so I know what you liked and didn't like, or what you may want to see in future videos. See you next time.